to explain the essay exemplar essay outline. So how you can use this as a model to write your own essay outlines. As a reminder, the point of an essay outline is to get all of the structure for your actual essay that you're going to be writing on Thursday and Friday. Hopefully by now, you will have your thesis in place that describes both the problem or challenge in your community and a possible solution. I suggest for your body paragraphs, so where we're working for a topic sentence here and a topic sentence here, that one of them will describe the problem that you've mentioned in your thesis and the other will describe the solution. So in my example here, so you're not writing on this example, you're probably writing on childhood obesity or food access or COVID. So you'll write about those. This is my just example so you can see the structure of what I'm asking for. So you've got your thesis. In this case, I'm saying, uh, hey, Mr. Like, Senate leader, you should prioritize making DC the first state. So I've got a you should, that's an argument, because its population has been historically underrepresented. So that's the problem I've identified. And statehood can be accomplished without an amendment. So that's the solution. So I've got my problem and solution here. When I come down to my first body paragraph for the topic sentence, I'm going to write about that problem that I just mentioned. So I just said it's been historically underrepresented. Now I'm going to see DC statehood would grant fair representation to DC re residents. This would be a big step towards better representation for African Americans. So we've got underrepresented, we've got better re representation. I describe the problem in my thesis. My first body paragraph is going to be about the problem. I then have a, some place to grab some of those pieces of evidence uh, that you have been gathering. So I need to ask myself which pieces of evidence, so I'll go back to my exemplar tracker, my evidence tracker, and I'm going to think which pieces of evidence, I want to pick two, maybe three at the most, that best show the, the argument I'm trying to make here. So I'm saying the problem is that uh, the people in DC aren't well represented. So I'm going to say here's a problem so that I'm going to describe one of those pieces of evidence that I've used and I'll just copy paste it straight from here over here. I also want you to notice I've got a space for you to write the source. That's why I asked you to grab it here. So good essays, especially uh, research-based, you need to include the source for each piece of evidence you do. So you'll grab the evidence you most want, copy-paste them here so it's all in one place. Then you'll move on to your solution. My solution in my thesis was that it can be accomplished without an amendment to the Constitution. Your, your solution will be a little bit different. You might use one of those suggested solutions on our research resources. Uh, or one other one, and you'll write it here. So write your, so your solution is your second body paragraph. You need evidence for your solution that will go in here. At least one of your pieces of evidence between, so you've got option for like six different pieces of evidence, at least one of them needs to be a quote likely from Mr. Suggs's interview. So that's what I've got for you. It's fairly straightforward. You put your pieces of evidence this is not yet an essay because we need to hear your thinking. All of the pieces that connect these pieces of evidence are going to be the actual essay. But if you've got your outline all the way done, you'll be in great shape when it comes time to write. Last little note, your conclusion. I'm really just stamping home. Here's my argument. Here's why you should do like what I'm asking for. It's been denied for too long. Now is the time. Fix these problems. So that might be something similar, kind of your call to action. Here's what you should do about it. You can write it in a sentence or two here, uh, which will work towards your conclusion paragraph when we get to writing on Thursday and Friday. Hopefully this is helpful. Rewatch it if you need to. Uh, your full outline is due today. I look forward to reading them.